I'm Andrew Knight. I've been here as priest in charge now for six months, so it's a new post for me. My first post, Post Curacy 2, and that of course has been a very busy time for me in learning the new role, getting to know a new community, and being thrown at the deep end just before Easter. Um, so within all of that mix um, and learning about the new role, I've had to be very co conscious about planning my prayer time. Um, I'm more of a contemplative in terms of my spirituality, and being a single guy, um, actually that's quite helpful um, in order to build those patterns of perhaps more monastic prayer in through the course of the day. But even so, as you know, in a, a busy role, it's hard to fit that in. So I've also had to think slightly longer and patterns that work for me over a week, over the month, and then also over several months together. What I discovered through my curacy is that if I planned for a week, perhaps every two or three months away, it just took me out of parish and gave me the time and the space uh, to focus on prayer, but also to focus on one particular project that I might take with me. It could be a, a sermon or a bit of creative writing, something like that. What was essential for me is having three or four days, maybe four days, focused on that one thing without the busyness of parish life around me. Um, but also to spend that time doing the things that I enjoy doing in walking, taking that space out and finding somewhere um, often up in the Yorkshire Dale or something like that, where it's really quiet. Space and silence are important for me. Uh, views and surprisingly a place even with a desk, somewhere where I can space out, have lots of space to write and create. I think it's important to find the thing in ministry that really energizes you and take that with you out into the retreat so you can spend time in that. When I do that on the projects that I, I do or writing projects that I do, um, I find time to think about that for part of a day, but then to go out into the countryside, enjoy the views, uh, maybe even stop for a cream tea, that's one of my temptations, and think and pray that through in order to bring it back to base again. And doing that in a pattern over the course of the week, I find is really reassuring and helpful to what I'm doing.